Well, we're wrapping up severe weather week with a lesson for those of you who like to keep tabs on stormy weather. The Doppler radar is a tool meteorologists use to track severe weather, and it is relatively easy to understand if you know what you're looking at. Here's meteorologist Lauren Casey with a quick lesson on reading radar. Severe Weather Week continues here on CBS3, and I want to talk to you about reading a radar. This is imagery that the CBS3 Eyewitness Weather Team shows you all the time when you tune in. So I want to talk about and break down exactly what this imagery means when you are looking at it. So we'll go over to Storm Scan 3. So right now, I got Chelsea Ingram, meteorologist Chelsea Ingram. She's helping me direct the radar right now. So what are we looking at? Well, this is real time data. This is not model data or a forecast. This that we're looking at is happening right now and the reflectivity or the colors that you're seeing there on storm scan 3 indicate rainfall and the intensity of that rainfall. Now this loop goes from three hours ago up until now. So also we can see the movement of these showers and thunderstorms. You can see kind of from southwest up to the kind of east and northeast. So that's how we're able to track these cells as well and expect where they are going to continue to move forward to. Now we'll talk Talk more about the colors. So the green reflectivity that we see right there, that is going to be indicative of lighter rainfall. When you move into the yellows and the oranges, that's going to be indicative of moderate rainfall moving on to heavy rainfall. And then when you see those bright red returns, that is going to be that heavy torrential downpour type rain typically associated with thunderstorm activity. So the reflectivity, it mainly tells us about rainfall intensity, but also can tell us what's going on on inside a shower or thunderstorm cell. So right now you see where those really bright returns are, that pink and purple color, that can be telling us that there is hail embedded within this storm cell. So we also have another layer of data on top of this rainfall reflectivity, and those are the lightning strikes. Now that data is overlaid over top of our radar data, but this data is being provided by our geostationary lightning mapper, and that's aboard the GO satellite way up into space, but we're beaming all of this data to bring to you so you can be best informed of what type of weather we are experiencing and could experience. And if you want to get more practice at reading the radar or see what's going on in your area in real time, be sure to download the CBS mobile weather app. I'm meteorologist Lauren Casey for CBS3 Eyewitness News.